Hello, I'm Julie Neerveld from Alzheimer Nederland. I want to share with you the results of our lobby to continue the current national dementia strategy in the Netherlands. Back in 2013, we started the initiative for Delta Plan Dementia. Martin van Rijn was the State Secretary of the Ministry of Health, Welfare and Sports in 2014, who funded the Delta Plan Dementia. He was also very involved in especially the program for a more dementia-friendly society. But after elections in 2017, a new minister started, Hugo de Jonge, with new and different priorities and with new and extensive programs on these three topics. His topics were loneliness, staying at home and elderly. During the first three years, Hugo de Jonge was very reluctant, reluctant in giving attention to dementia. His programs showed little interest in people with dementia and also Alzheimer's Island wasn't invited as an advisory partner in policy topics relevant for people with dementia. But nevertheless, the Delta Plan Dementia continued and with success. Well, Hugo de Jonge, we are, were getting to know him better. He was a minister who liked results, who vlogged weekly and who did a lot of working visits. So we briefed him regularly about the results and we never stopped inviting him to join our activities. So in September 2018, we invited him again to join in campaigning in The Hague. We asked people in the street to answer some questions about him. Hugo de Jonge himself participated. Also, he made a nice vlog with one of our young influencers, Tune Tubus. And yes, this was the beginning of new strategy discussions with the ministry. So in our lobby, we focused on results, but also on an international context, because the minister likes to show that the Netherlands is one of the leading countries in dementia care and dementia research. For example, he went to the World Dementia Council in 2019. There he announced to double the budget for research in 10 years. He repeated this promise on several occasions on TV. So the Dementia Council in Japan was helpful. Also, Alzheimer Nederland developed her own dementia strategy and started conversations about the strategy at the ministry and with the minister. We aimed in our strategy at four main themes. A neighborhood oriented approach, which combined formal and informal care, more research aiming at quality of life and the implementation of results, prevention and continuation of a program for a more dementia friendly society. We also stressed the importance of strong direction of the ministry and of the minister himself. Did they listen? Did they agree? Well, February 2020, Hugo de Jonge had dinner in the restaurant that makes mistakes. This moment was broadcast uh, much later, on the 21st of September, World Alzheimer's Day. You can see that the recordings were before COVID-19 hit us all. That evening, on the 21st of September, Hugo de Jonge also sent his new dementia strategy to members of parliament. The question is, did he use our input and as a base for his own governmental dementia strategy? Yes and no. We were very happy to see that Hugo de Jonge used our strategy. And it also was a strategy for a long period. 2021 to 2030. This strong commitment is unique and special because we have next year we have elections in the Netherlands. So this strategy exceeds the term of this minister and his successor. And of course, the budgets for research are impressive and now secured. But we also have some critical remarks. One important theme is missing prevention. And in our opinion, this is a mistake. Also, 
The strategy has very ambitious targets to improve care and to make the society more dementia friendly. But for these improvements, we miss budgets. Without budget, it is impossible to reach the ambitious targets for care and society. So we have still some lobby to do the next month. And for now, thank you for your attention.